Hello, hello, hello. Hi, 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 everyone. This is Ms. Scar and welcome to Learning Physics. So in this video, we are going to solve simple problems in meters and in lenses. Okay, so before we start, of course, let us have here the following equations to be used. So we have there the first equation. 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And we have here for the next equation, it's M equal to H sub i over h sub o equal to negative d sub i over d sub o. Okay, and we have here the following variable. So we have the f for the focal length, d o, object height, uh, sorry, object distance, really, I'm sorry. So d sub i, it's image distance, h o, h sub o, it's object height, h sub i, it's image height, and f m for magnification. For if the value of M or the magnification is greater than 1, therefore the image is enlarged. And then if it is less than 1, therefore the image is reduced. Okay, so um, before we proceed to our problem, so let us have here first the graphic organizer. So please study this graphic organizer because this will... Um, greatly help you in determining the type of image that you're going to that is that was formed by the uh, by the mirror or lens and for that for you to determine what lens or mirror are you going to use um, yeah. take it so let us have here the first graphic organizer on the upper left so we have converged convex lens and concave mirror so always remember that convex lens and concave mirror are converging light rays. So maghambal kita gani converging light rays, therefore, they are um, allowing the light rays to come together, meaning ginatipuan nila. So in order for you to determine nga convex lens or concave mirror ang ginayuse ni mo, so it should be that the focal length value is positive. Okay, so if negative naman, of course, you are using concave lens and convex meter. So always remember man nga con concave lens and convex meter are both diverging the light rays. When it's when we, when we, when we say diverging light rays gani, um gina ano yan na ginalapta, gina spread out yan ang light rays. Okay. So in mirrors and in lenses, take note that they form images. Okay? So we have the real and the virtual image. So, for the real image, mabalaan mo na siya nga real image na siya ang i-form niya if the DI is positive and the image is inverted. So, para ma-determine mo man nga inverted ang image during the calculation, so it should be that the value of HI and the M are both negative. So, for the virtual naman niya, it should be that the neg uh, DI is negative and it should be upright. So, in order for you to determine that the image is upright, um, there are, it should be that the M and the HI are both positive. So please um, familiarize and if possible, memorize what's in our graphic organizer. Okay. So let us have here our first problem. So if an object distance that is equal to 9.20 meters and an image height that is 1.20 meters less than the value of the object distance and magnification that is negative 3.12. How long is your image from the image distance from the mirror? Now, in the problem, if we're going to take a look at there, so we have already the value of the image distance and that is 28.70 meters. Now, the question is, ano ang imuon namun miss knowing nga may value na daadaan? So what we're going to do in this problem is that we're going to show the correct process. We're going to show a process wherein makakuha kita sang 28.70 meters nga um, image distance. So let us have here, let us list down the set of given. So ilis data siya para mabalanta kung anong himuunta sa ato niya problem. Okay. So for the given there, it is said that we have there the object distance that is 9.20. So what to the given? The given there, so it's 9.20 ang V sub O. 9.20 meters. And next, we have there the HI. 
So according to the problem, the HI daw is 1.20 meters less than the value of the object distance. So if the value of the object distance is 9.20, therefore, we're going to subtract um, 1.20 uh, from the value of the object distance in order for us to obtain the value of the HI. So we have your HI is equal to 9.20 meters minus 1.20 meters, and that is equal to 8 meters. Okay. And next, the magnification is negative 3.12. So M here is equal to negative 3.12. Okay, so let us list down here our equations to use. Okay. Okay, so muna siya ang ating equation na pwede gamitin. Now, here it is. The required value in this problem is the D. So, anong imuunta para makuha ka si D sub i? So, yan pagunta kung di in mga equation ang pwede tayong magamit. So, in looking for the first equation, wala kita, may value kita sa D O. So, pwede siya masubstitute. But then, we don't have the value of F. So, therefore, hindi siya pwede. Kaya nga, ah, we have two unknown values in this equation. So, hindi na siya pwede. So, cancel ang first equation. In our second equation, we can... We use the Rappagid 3 equation. So, this is for the first equation, second equation, and the third equation. Ang muna siya, pwede natin magamit ng mga equations. Pwede tayo siya mabuka. Okay? Sige. Now, let us have here this equation. So, M is equal to H sub I over H sub O. Take note nga, wala kita nila variable. Wala variable for the D sub I. So, meaning, hindi siya pwede. Kaya nung napangitaon, the D sub I napangita, ta, pero wala kita na variable ng D sub I. So, cancel siya. Next. For our next equation, we have H I over H O equal to negative D I over D O. Note that we have the value of H I and D O, but then we don't have the value of the H O, knowing that we're going to look for the D sub I. So, therefore, hindi man siya pwede kaya may buwa kita pwede ka unknown. So, anong pwede tayong magamit ng equation? This one. So, this will be the best equation that we can use because we already have the value of the M and we already have the value of the DO and then si DI na lang ang pangitaon natin. Okay? So, let us use that equation. M is equal to negative DI over DO. So, since kabalo na kita sa formula ang gamitin ta, all we have to do here is to Simply substitute the values in the equation. So we have here negative 3.12 equal to negative d sub i over 9.20 for the value of the magnific uh, for the d sub o. So cross multiply lang. This is imaginary one. We have negative i equal to 3.12 times 9.20. Okay, sorry, siya 3.12. 3.12 times, sorry, times 9.20, and that's equal to 28.70. Negative 28.70 meters. Take note na ka-negative ang variable, so we need to divide both sides by negative 1. So we have your i is equal to 28.70. Okay. So let me just highlight. Let me highlight our answer here. I is 20.7. Okay. Now, miss, I have a concern. Gusto ko miss i-plot ang light rays sa ray diagram, but then I don't know what mirror ang ginagamit diri. Okay, wala well, akong kabalo kung ano na din ang mirror ang ginagamit. So, ano himuon ko? E, di ba, kinalan mo siya mismo ma-determine ang F na value para mabalaan mo kung ano nga mirror ang ginagamit. So, if wala ka value sa F and then you need to know or you need to plot, gali, 
um, the value in the other light rays in the ray diagram. So therefore, the best thing to do is that isumahon ta si F. So here it is. Let us solve for F. So in solving for F, obviously, we're going to use this equation because siya lang man may F no variable. And we already have here the di and the o. So let us solve for F. We have here 1 over F is equal to, let us just, let us just substitute values na lang. 1 over 9.20 meters plus 1 over 28.70 meters. So substitute ha, plus again, 1 over F is equal to, let us have here 1 divide 9.20, that's equal to, let, we can use here, um, Two decimal places. So since wala man kita naga ano, wala man kita naga prove gidiri sang value, unlike uh, what we did in our first calculation. So pwede lang kita ka use decimal places. But then if we're using simulation, yung kinala niyo yung prove ang value as much as possible, use four to six decimal places. Okay? Again. So we have here zero point eleven. Here's Plus 1 divide 28.70. 1 divide 28.70. That is equal to 0 0.03. Pero kung mag-approve ka mo ka evaluate kinang landa mo on yung inyong decimal places, ha? Okay. Um, unlike here, sa atin, as a gina-calculate, subong na kon, um, wala man kita may gina-approve ka pilagi ng value ni Fokin. But um, if you want to use all the values or t 4 to 6 nga mga decimal places, the better for you to get a more precise kijanga value of the focal length. Because if you're going to use two decimal places, dako dako na siyang discrepancy. If amo ni siyang value nga ka encounter, damo damo ni Okay? Sige. But then again, eh, since wala man kita ga prove value, so okay lang nga mag use kita do two decimal places. Okay, so here it is. Just simply add the values. 0 0.11 plus 0 0.03. And that's equal to 0 0.14. So 1 over F equal to 0 0.14 meters. Just simply cross multiplying, we have 0 0.14 meters. F equal to 1. Divide both sides by 0 0.14. Cancel, cancel. F is equal to 1 divide. Divide 0 0.14 and that is equal to 7.40. So this is now for the focal. Okay, so let, again, let me highlight this. Okay, so ada na siya. Okay, now that we already know the value of the F, and if you can see there, it's positive. So, therefore, pwede na natin ma, ma plot ang aton nga value. Or ato, yes, ma plot ang aton nga light rays with the use of these values in our ray diagram. Let us have here. So, this is for the. Okay, so that's for our optical axis. And then let me use. Purple. The purple pen represents the focal point and of course the object. So the F is 7.14 meters away from the mirror. So let's say this is let's say okay. next for the so the as uh, so for the object, sorry. 
This is for the focal point. The focal point is shorter compared to the depot. So it should be the focal point is nearer to the meter compared to the okay. For our object. Okay. So let's say muna siya an object. Now, paano tapos lahat ang aton ray diagram? So in our ray diagram, we have the pattern. You watch the video, straight tiko tiko straight. In our previous video, kung nakalanta ka mo, in our other video, o kung paan magplot sa ray diagram. So, ang motor siya, paano tong pattern pattern na. So, again, it's straight tiko tiko. So, let us have here, magamag ganit straight, it is parallel to the optical axis ang light ray. It is straight. Going to the going to the mirror and then tick up. Are you on atom? How? So as much it and the lamp sha on panel of sha. A straight tick up. Now the stance is the straight. I'm going to use pen here. Oops. It's for the pico. Oh, hit the mirror. And straight. So this is straight. Now. And I'll just be extending our optical axis para mabutang that. Hopefully that you are watching. I take note mo kung paano na siya. Okay. Now, 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 now. If you're going to take a look, this is where the light rays converge. So therefore, ari na di ang atong nga. Atong nga image nga na form. So, with that, let us have here. Okay, so let me draw here an arrow. Okay, so this is now the image. This is for the object. Okay, now this is now for our ray diagram. So, this is for the DO, the distance between um, the object and the mirror, DO. F is the distance between the focal point and the mirror. The DI is the distance between the image and the mirror. And for the HI and the HO, so this is for the HO, ang height ng object, and HI for the height of E. Okay, just by taking a look here on our ray diagram, okay, so ano ni siya ay han niya image ang atong form the ray. So what type of image ang na form? So in this ray diagram, if we're going to take a look, the image is located below the optical axis. So therefore, this is inverted. Perfect. Okay. Next, the image is larger compared to the object. Okay. So therefore, this is large. Okay. And lastly, the image. The image here is located on the side sa aton nga object. Tanan gani nga image nga na-locate sa side sa object, they are real. Have inverted, enlarged, and real. Okay. So, but uh, by taking a look at our values, paano to na siya mabalaan yung inverted, enlarged, and real na siya? It is inverted because the value of magnification is negative. Kung madumduman yung graphic organizer, if the M is negative, therefore it is inverted. Ito nga inverted siya, meaning real na siya. Sinihan? Sige. Next, the value of the magnification is 3 point, negative 3.12. Now, in order for us to determine kung nag-enlarge or nag-reduce ang ato na image, we are going to take a look sa iyang nga 
um, absolute value. So the absolute value is 3.12 and that is greater than 1. So therefore, ang image natin is nag-enlarge. And here, as what I've said kagina, the value of m is negative and the value, uh, yes, the value of m is negative. Therefore, it should be nga, real man ng aton nga, image. Inverted siya din real. So, for the next problem, we have here, based on your calculations on the previous number, which is referring to the previous problem, so if you decrease the value of the object distance by half and multiply the value of your image height by 0.5, how far is the focus from the mirror if the image distance has the value of 3.96 first? So here it is. So this is what we're going to do order for us to determine kung ano naman siya ang atong na set of given. So here we have set of So now, ang tangahimuan is we're going to list again ang given first problem. Ang ko din, first problem. Okay? The DO there is 9.20. First, the HI is 8. First, and then Okay, and then we have the M. Okay, next. The required in the previous or in the first problem is the DI. And the value of DI is 28.70. Okay, it is. Now, in the given, man. The second, second problem is, according to the problem, ang DO ko no will be divided, so we have here, 9.20 meters divided 2. So, tila na siya, that is, let us use here our calculator para mas makita ta. So, we have here. 9.20 divide 2, and that is equal to 4.6. Okay. For the HI, so 8 meters times 0 0.5, that's equal to, we have here, 8 times 0 0.5, that's equal to 4. And then, magnification will be the same. Oh, it the um, never mentioned magnificent. So, ang ginamiton talang kaling nga pro nga given is the D sub i. But then we're going to i. That is 28. So here it is. So the required value in the second problem is the focal length. Nga ano focal length? Kay ano kano? How far is the focus from the mirror? So meaning focal length na siya. So, amo ni siya ng mga values naman atin dito. So, in looking for the focal length, just what is, just like what is presented in our previous video, na ito ganit yung gamit natin, ang 1 over F is equal to 1 over O plus 1 over T. Therefore, amo na siya ng atin niya. 1 over F is equal to sub O plus T. Hindi ka na napagamitin. So, pag nafit na, like, wala naman na siya. Atin. Uh, ginagamit good in the substitute lang. F is equals to 1 over that's 4.6 years plus 1 over 28.1 1 over F so let's take a look 1 divide 4.6 and that's equal to 0. 22 meters plus 20, 1 divide 
28.70, that's equal to 0 0.07. Okay, so we have zero point, okay, zero point two two plus zero point zero three. Okay, so take note, nag approve kita derivative nyo. So let's look at most of one over f cross multiply i f is. Two, one. Tapos, ano gani? Hindi gani mag-sento ang aton nga answer. Ano siya tani? Iri. Calculate na. F is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.25. That is 4. That is 4 meters. Means wala man na siya nag-coincide sa 3.96. If that's the case, mas solve kita liwa. Ang muna siya ginahambal ni Miss Ha. Kung, um, i-based na our, sa aton yung previous problem, di ba, wala kita talagang nag-prove value. So, therefore, nag-use kita to decimal places. But this time, in our next problem here, gina-prove na dapat niya 3.96 siya. So, it should be that at the end of our calculation, ma-3.96 siya. But then, in our case here, nag-4 meters siya. So, paano na siya mag-3.96? So, therefore, nang himuon ta, let us try to calculate using four, four to six decimal places. Count to the what? One over 4.6 plus one over 28.70. So one over F is equal to, para ma compare tang in calculate. So one divide 4.6. That's equal to, ara siya. 0 0.217391, okay? 0 0.217391 meters plus 1 divide 28.70, that's equal to 0 0.034843. 0 0.034843 meters. 1 divide F is equal to, let's add the values, 0 0.217391 plus 0 0.034843. And that's equal to, here it is, 0 0.02522. Okay. Again, cross multiply, we have your 0 0.2524. Four meters. F equal to one. Divide both sides by zero point two five two two three four meters. Zero point two five two two three four meters. Cancel, cancel F. So one divide answer. Let me say one divide the answer. This is for the answer, and that's equal to three point ninety six. So three point ninety six meters. So if we're going to take a look here, our calculation, so di ba, may discrepancies dito ang mga decimal plate. Okay, so there it is. But then if we're going to take a look here in our second calculation, we were able to prove that, kung siya tugid man ang answer natin na 0.9. But then again, kung wala man lang kapag ang gaya pa ngayong ay prove mo ang value, you can use this process. So, I hope nga na-gets lang siya kung paano kita mag-solve sa um, values in the problem. Okay. Now, next, let us have our next sample problem. In our next sample problem, we have here a toy height of 8.4 centimeters is balanced in front of the converging lens. So, an inverted real image of height that is 23 centimeters is noticed on the other side of the lens. So, what is the magnification of the lens? So, let us list down here the set of given. In this problem, we have the given. 
So the toy height daw. So we are to the And that is 8.4 centimeters. And then next, um, an inverted real image daw of height that is 23. Inverted real image. Okay. Of height that is 23 centimeters, it's noticed on the other side of the map. So we have here, right, that is 23 centimeters. Now take note that in the problem, it is um, specified there that and the image is inverted. So since inverted an image, um, as we list here the given, it should be CHI mahimo na siya negative. Yeah, ah? Negative siya si HI, it's because inverted siya, meaning ara siya below the optical axis. So that's why nag-negative da siya sa atong paglista. Intindihan? Sige. So what is the magnification of the lens? So in order for us to determine the magnification, so simply, uh -huh, we're going to use our equation N is equal to I. So equal to negative I. Now, take note that magita kita ta magnification using the value of H, I, and H. Also, meaning amuni siyang equation ang atun nga gamiton. So, we have here M is equal to H, I over the H. And then, what we're going to do is to simply substitute the value. Of M is equal to H, I that is negative 23 meters. Divide. 8 or cancel cancel the units we have m is equal to we have 23 divide 8.4 negative we have here negative 23 divide 8.4 and that is equal to negative 2.74 negative 2.74 for the magnificent Okay, miss. According to the problem, nag use ta sang. Nag use kita sang converging lens. So, ano siya si converging lens? Converging lens is a convex lens. Again, converging lens is a convex lens. So, paano na siya na kung miss mahimu, miss? nga ma-invert ang alcon na image using the converging. So let us try to plot the light rays in the ray diagram. Okay, so this is for the optical. Now, since we are going to use converging lens, meaning I'm going to use here the group. Para mag, right, sa center of the image. This is for the normal, as a center, sang lens. Kali. This is for the normal line. Okay. Now, paano na siya natin gani ma-determine kung madako ang atin ni huh? Okay, so here it is. Here is for the focal. Focal point is. There. And then we have here the observer. Sino sin una siya ni si observer? Ka una siya ang observer. Ari matamo ni siya. You are the observer. We have here. Pag na assume assume ta na diha. Assumption na di siya ang values sa aton nya distances from the mirror. Okay. So paano ta ni siya i-plot ang aton nya light ray? 
So let us have here the straight equals none. It equals none. So we have here straight equals none. So that's for the straight. That's for our pattern. Straight equals none. So always remember, always remember that if you are going to plot light rays in converging lenses, it should be nga ang gamit ng tanga focal point is on the side of the observer. Hindi sa side ni object. Again, ara siya sa side ni observer. Okay, and there it is. And then next, for our next light ray, here it is, for our next light ray, so we have their straight echo, and next we have this line. So I'm going to use purple pen para makita nyo kung So since I don't have, since I don't have the blue pen, instead of using There, ada siya. Okay. Now, what will happen to the So, take note na ang image na ton is ma-form sa kung diin ma-converge ang light ray. Therefore, ari din na ito. O, ara, ma-form ang ating light ray. Okay. Take note that image is higher compared to the object. Okay, so meaning this is enlarged. Why enlarged? Because we have here a value of magnification that is greater than 1. So we have 2.70. So the again, ha? Ang ato niya, HI nag-negative lang na siya, kaya ara siya below the optical axis. But then if we're going to take a look on the absolute value, mas taas dapat si HI compared kay HO or the object. Okay? So, there. Miss, paano mo na siya, Miss, maamo na? Paano mo ma-determine niya ma-real na siya kag-inverted? So, um, ang image ma-form niya real kag-inverted if the F is shorter compared to the DO. But then, wala kita na revalue Nagin butang gid nga ano. Kumbaga, nagin assumption ng isya natin ang values. But then, always remember na kung gusto mo mag-form sa image nga read and inverted, it should be that the F is shorter compared to the D. So, muna siya ha. I hope that it's clear. Okay. Sige. So, that's for our third problem. Okay. Now, let us proceed to our next problem. So, for our last problem, we have here an object that is 8.5 centimeters high is placed 28 centimeters from a diverging lens. So, the center of curvature is 24 centimeters away from the lens. So, we are, we are going to calculate the image distance and the image height. Okay, so in getting the unknown values, let us list down first the set of given. So we have here, given, so according to the problem, the object height kono is 8.5 centimeters. So we have here, H, O, that is 8.5 centimeters. Okay, and then next, we have there the object distance, that is 28 centimeters. EO, that is 28 centimeters. Okay. And according to the problem, the center of curvature is 24 centimeters away from the lens. So therefore, ano na siyang ginanamin? That is the radius of curve. So we have here 24 centimeters. And the required values are the D sub I and the H I. Okay. So, botan to the atong equations, we have here 1 over F is equal to 1 over D sub O plus 1 over D sub I. And we have M is equal to HI over HO equal to negative D sub I over D sub O. 
Okay. Now, paano ta makuha ang ating unknown variables or unknown values? Okay. So, ang himuon ta, i-analyze ta dali ang problem. Okay. So, in getting for the DI, anong himuon ta? So, lantawon ta kung diin ang pwede ta magamit. So, we have here the first equation. Wala kita values ang F. May ara kita DO and wala si DI. So, anong himuon ta? O, pass kita danay. Next. Gamiton ta ni siya nga equation, hindi pwede kay DI pangitaon ta. Okay, next. Gamiton ta ni siya nga equation, May di dito, pero wala kita value ni M. So, alang-alang. So, in this equation, pwede kita kagamit din may di May di kita nga, uh, ano, nga variable. But then, ang problema, wala kita sang value ka HI. Kaya unknown man si HI. So, hindi pwede nga dua ang unknown sa isa ka um, equation. So, anong imuon ta? Balik kita sa aton nga given. In our given, may ara kita dira R, but then in our equation, wala kita sang R. So, anong pwede ta mahimo kay R? Always remember nga in looking for the focal length, we need to divide the radius by 2. Okay? So, we have here F is equal to R divided by 2. So, anong himuon ta? I-divide ta ni siya si R by 2 para makakuha kita sang value niya. So, F is equal to 24 divided so, 24 centimeters. Para siya ha, gingot lang ang kalimut. Okay, so F is equal to 12 centimeters. Okay. Now, take note that in the problem, it is specified that we are using their diverging lens. So, ano gani? Kung diverging lens, it is the concave lens. So, if madumduman niya sa atong graphic organizer, paano natin mabalaan niya diverging lens or concave lens ang atong nga ginagamit? If the focal length is negative. So, kung lantawon ta diri ang aton nga equation, ang aton nga value this is naka positive. So meaning kay diverging ang aton nga ginagamit. So imuon ta na siya. Okay. So I hope that it's clear. Okay? So ano na siyang purpose of having the negative nga value of f para ma-determine ta nga ma-base kita sa aton karon nga um nga focal point on the object side. So, later on, ipakita ko na siya inyo kung ano siya ginanamin niya object side. Okay. But then, we have here the F, the HO, the DO, and the R. So, pangitaon ta si DI. So, nilimuon ta para makita ta si DI. We're going to use our first equation kay may F na kita. Okay? So, let us solve for the DI. So, substitute lang. We have 1 over F is equal to 1 over E sub O plus 1 over D sub I. Substitute. 1 over negative 12 centimeters is equal to 1 over the... Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Plus 1 over D sub I. Multiply ang dua ka denominator dire. LCD. That's 28 cm D sub I. Okay, distribute sa tatlo. So, 28 cmdi divide negative 12 centimeters. So, we have here 28 divide negative 12 and that's equal to negative 2.33. Negative 2.33 cm divide cm cancel. Anong bilin? D sub i equal to 28 cmdi cancel sa 28. Anong bilin? We have here the di. Plus, 28 cmdi cancel sa bi. Anong bilin? 28 cmdi. Combined like terms, negative 2.33 di minus d sub i equal to 28 centimeters. So, arat na siya. Okay, negative 2.33 minus di. This is imaginary 1, meaning may minus 1 dira. So, we have your negative. Negative 2.33. 2.33 plus negative 1, minus 1, gade, sorry, minus 1, that is equal to negative 3.33. E sub i equal to 28 centimeters. Divide both sides by negative 3.33. Okay, cancel, cancel, anong bilhin? The D sub i. So, negat, uh, 28. 28 divide negative 3.33, that is equal to 
8.41, negative 8.41 centimeters. So therefore, for the D sub I, that is equal to negative 8.41. Okay, so there it is. Sige. So now we're done with the DI. Now let's solve for the H sub I naman. For the H sub I, so since wala kita value sa M in using this equation, so the best equation nga pwede ta magamit is this. Okay? So we have your HI over HO is equal to negative DI over DO. So substitute lang the values. So dili na lang ko madiretsyo ha? So, oh sige. Alin lang siya? So tapon lang din this. <laughs> Okay, HI over HO equals to negative DI over O. Substitute HI over HO, that's 8.5 centimeters, plus negative times, I sorry, this is equals. Talang sinisaw. So this is equals, I'm sorry, this is equals. So negative from the um, equation times negative pagid from the value here. 8.41 centimeters. Divide the DO that is 28 centimeters. Just simply cross multiply. So 28 centimeters HI is equal to negative times negative. It's positive. So we have here 8.41 times 28. That is equal to 235.48. 235.48 centimeters times centimeters that is cm squared divide both sides by 28 centimeters oh sorry it should be i'm sorry i'm sorry it should be 8.5 i'm sorry 8.5 sorry lang po 71.49 siya galit okay it is 79.49 let me just if one and I hope na inchindihan nyo lang siyang nakabo. Okay, nagta lang si Ness. Okay, so 28 cm hi equal to negative times negative, positive. So we have there in our calculator 71.49 cm squared. So there it is. Divide both sides by 28 centimeters. Cancel, 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 cancel. HI is equal to 71.49. Divide 28. And that's equal to 2.55. For the HI, that is 2.55 centimeters. That's for our HI. Okay, so there. Now, with these values, let us try to plot these values in our ray diagram. Now, take note that in the problem, it is specified that it, uh, we are using their um, diverging lens. So, mga hindi mo kita diverging Okay. Diverging. This is for the optical axis. Yes? Okay. We're going to have here diverging. So, high diverging lens. Oops, a shortcut niya. Okay. Nagaan mo na yet, Shura. So, let me have here the green and oh, right the normal lens. Okay. So, there it is. Now, let us consider the values. Some focal point, some focal lens, and uh, um, the distances of object and the pH. Okay, so for the focal length, it's 12 centimeters away from the mirror. So, may ala kita dua ka focal length in length. Let's say this is 12 centimeters away. 12 centimeters away. Ali siya, 12 centimeters. So, this is the observer. Ali ka o, this is your eye. You are the observer. Oh, mga palit matamod siyaan. Okay. Now, kung ano kalabas ang focal length, same na di on the other side. Sige. Okay. So, if ari ka diri, ikaw observer, of course, ang aton nga, 
um, object should be on the opposite side of observer. So the DO is 28. So let's say, are din 28. Here's the do medyo um, laba siya ang distance. Here. And the image object height is 8.5 centimeters. 8.5 centimeters. Let's say this is 8.5 centimeters. Siya. Sige. Now, sa amunin siya natin niya pag-plot sa atin niya object and focal point, um, how are we going to um, plot man diri ang atin niya ray diagram? So, take note, di ba? Ano gani? Negative ang atin niya focal length. So, mag-plot kita sa atin light rays using the diverging lens Ay, since negative siya, diri kita mabasi sa negative mga part. So, this is sa positive. 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 Kaya ara siya sa side B. Observer. Negative ni siya. Kaya ara siya sa side B. Object. Or that's, that's for the lenses. Okay? Sige. So, kay negative ang atong focal length, again, mabase kita diri sa uh, atong nga focal point which is on the side of the object. So, let us have here our light rays. So, for our pattern, it's straight pico and then slant. Kapon. So, we have here straight. So, pag straight gani, it should be mag-hit with ang light ray at the center of the lens. Yan, di siya pwede mag-lapaw diri or mag-kabos. Kinaulan ara siya sa center. Okay, and then, mano siya? ma tiko Straight tiko Here it is for the tiko Okay. But then, sa iya nga pagtiko, always remember nga naka-align siya kay focal point siya. Okay? I hope that you can follow there. And then, for our next light ray, it is just slant. So, mga slant, maagi lang gini siya yes, sa center of the lens. So, here it is. Slant lang gini siya. Yeah. Okay? Okay, there it is. So this is for our second light. Okay. Now, if we're going to take a look, this is where the light rays converge. So, therefore, dira aman na ma, uh, ma form ang ato ni Okay. So, here it is. Our image. Okay. So, ano na siya nga image ang na-form dira? Ang image nga na-form dira is, let's have there, the image is located above the optical axis, so it is upright. This is smaller compared to the object, this is reduced. And this is located on the side of the object, meaning first one. Okay, so here it is. So by, by basing on our values, um, kung lantawan to naman, each eye natin is positive, so therefore, ang atong niya, um, object, uh, image rather, should be upright because it's located above the optical axis. And then the DI is negative, so kay negative ang atong niya, DI, it should be that the image is located on the side of the object. Part siya sa negative side, kaya ang positive sides mo. Ang positive values, so ari siya sa negative values. Okay, next. Um, what else? So, for the focal length, this is negative because we're using diverging um, lens. And also, negative siya because ang gin-measure ta nga, nga distance kag gina or gin-basihan ta is ang nasa negative side man. Okay. So, I hope na na-insindihan. So, that's for our type of image. Now, if we are going to Go back to our previous problem. So, kung balikan tani ang aton niya previous a problem, ano naman diya nga image ang na-form naton? So, this is um, below the optical axis. So, meaning ano ni siya ya? Inverted ni siya. Inverted. And then, this is larger compared to the uh, object, meaning enlargement. And, this is located on the side of the observer, meaning this is reduced. So, amun naman na siya ya ang ato niya na image niya na form using the converging mirror. So, this is in our previous problem. Okay, so that's it. So, I hope, uh, hopefully, nga na-understand lang kung paano natin gin-solve 
again, analyze, of course, ang problems. Okay, kag kung paano man natin green relate ang values as we plot the light rays in the ray diagram. So, thank you so much for watching and hopefully, hopefully nga, um, naintindihan nyo lang ang aton nga calculation. So, thank you so much and have a great day, everyone.